It's very important for me to keep everything covered with plastic because I want to try to keep that resale value uh, intact when I try to sell the house. Four years ago, locomotive engineer Todd Moriarty covered nearly his entire house in protective wrapping. He's lived this way ever since. People laugh. I mean, they come into my garage, they come into my house, they're like, you know, what are you, the bubble boy? They can laugh, I don't care. I'm laughing all the way to the bank when I sell this baby. By sacrificing comfort for savings, Todd estimates he's able to save nearly 95% of his $90,000 annual salary, spending only $4,500 per year on necessities. When I bought the house, it came with an electric garage door opener, but you know what, I, I disconnected. I thought, you know, why pay all this money? If I kept that thing running every day, it would cost me $1.20 per day, up to $438 a year. I mean, that's ridiculous. Following his recent divorce, Todd plans to sell his home and hopes his extreme measures will pay off. My ex-husband, Todd, is always constantly trying to save money, every day, every hour, every minute. It's always on his mind. It's part of who he is. I love Todd, and we're friends to this day, but I will have to say that his cheap ways and cheap habits and quirks were a factor in us getting a divorce. One of the habits he has is collecting bottles. Todd will collect bottles and cans anywhere, anytime. And he doesn't even care, like, what's in it. Yeah, it's gross. I mean, people just throw these things away like it's just trash, but I, I see money laying around. I see dimes all over the place. One time we were driving, and he stopped on the highway because he saw a bottle on the highway. <laughs> On a weekly basis, I would say I probably find about two to 300 pop bottles and cans uh, around the city. So uh, yeah, I mean, it adds up. Todd and I met on an online dating service. Todd was not paying for it, and I was paying for it. Red flags. <laughs> I, I realized pretty quickly that he was different from anyone else I had dated before. One Christmas, Todd bought me Doritos and chocolate chips for Christmas. And I cried. Hard. <laughs> I think my habits did get to her after a while. She would sometimes joke and say that she was on the crazy train. You know, pun intended, since I drive trains, she got off the crazy train. But I'm running the trains, I'm going straight down the track, and uh, I can do whatever I want. Well, right now, uh, I've got some uh, clothes uh, in Ziploc bags. I don't have to put them in the washing machine. It actually kills the bacteria by having them in here. That way I save on uh, laundry detergent, I save on time, I don't have to use electricity to run my washing machine. Uh, I've had clothes since high school. Can you believe that? Okay, this is uh, a pair of jeans. Okay, this pair here, I bought these 15 years ago. Look at that, like brand new. Yeah. It's like, it's like I just bought them. The average refrigerator uses around 350 kilowatts of electricity per year. By tightly packing his fridge with clothes, cookware, and canned goods, Todd cuts his energy use by nearly 10%. The refrigerator doesn't cycle on as much, and it doesn't produce or uh, consume as much electricity. Just pack up your fridge with uh, anything you can find. I don't care. I don't care that some people might think that some of my habits are over the top now. I mean, I got clothes in my refrigerator, for God's sake. I mean, it's, that's pretty cheap. <laughs> that's one of the things about Todd is he doesn't care about comfort. He cares about saving money. There's no need for me to use the washing machine because it just costs too much money. I could just reuse the water right here. There's a lot of wear and tear on your clothes in the washing machine. I'm able to wash my clothes in here. My, clo my clothes last for years. Because my hot tub's not gonna add any value to the house, I decided to use it for multi-purposes, for everything that I can think of. It costs about $15 a month 
to, to take a 10 minute shower every day. And that adds up. By using my hot tub, I would say I'm saving about 30 to $40 a month. That way I don't have to use my appliances. I could turn off the hot water heater. This hot tub, I mean, it, this thing is a money saver. I mean, this is like a cash cow for me. I think it's a stroke of genius myself. I think that all of Todd's free time is spent preserving the value of things that he has. I'm uh, planning on selling this car, and uh, I want to try to get the best deal I can. This car is 10 years old, and you would not know that by looking at it. If I were to sell my car, I think I could probably get 3,000 for fair condition and 6,000 for good condition, easily. I've got plastic not only on the, uh, the dashboard and on the steering wheel, but I've got it on the seats, I've got it on the floor mats. Most cars get a lot of that weathered look, and a lot of the sun just bleaches a lot of the plastic. But I don't get that in my car. My car is just perfect. I mean, it's as good as the day I bought it. I have no idea how Todd is able to drive in that car with all that plastic. He has no pride. <laughs> I was drying some clothes in the dryer, and I thought, why am I spending money when I can just, you know, put them in the back of my car and dry them in there? And I did it a couple times, and it worked like a champ. I think the clothesline in the car is ridiculous. Todd can afford to dry his clothes in the damn dryer. Oh, I swore. The average car, in, on a warm day, can soar up to about 150 degrees. It only takes about two or three hours for my clothes to uh, dry in the back seat. Air drying saves Todd 45 cents per load of laundry, or approximately $100 a year. I mean, to me, this is like really the only way to go. Each of my stops each day is contingent on timing in order to get the best deals and the best bargains. Grocery stores usually discount near expired food toward the end of the day. So Todd has this thing where he goes to the store and he peruses the fish and meats and looks at the dates. So he'll buy all the, the fish that's on clearance that they're about to throw out and he eats that. That's disgusting. When I get something cheap, when I find a good deal, I feel really good. It uh, makes my day. Got any uh, good deals on seafood today? I do. What you looking for? Anything that's uh, going to be past its expiration date? Do you have anything that's old, anything expired? You know, if the packages are broken open, I'll take a look. There you go. There's a the deal. See that one broken? Yeah. You can have it for half price. What about this one? This one's looking a little brown. Yeah, go ahead. I'll take that for 99 cents. How's that sound? Yeah, it's kind of kind of, kind of cheap. What do you give me on that one? I see a lot. That one looks like it's been right. opened up. That's cool. 99 cents. I'll take that for 99 cents. What is this 99 cent thing? That's back in the 1950s, OK? Well, I'm just looking for a deal. How old is this? Is there an expiration date on this one? You want 99 cents? 99 cents. Go for it. I estimate that I probably save about $75 a month on expired groceries that most people don't want. And uh, I can save me up to about $900 a year. When I'm satisfied knowing that it's the lowest price I can get, then I buy it all, throw it in my freezer, and yeah, I'm, I'm living like a king.